Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Inday Changge, your Mercy Charge. So for today's vlog, we are going to talk about ABG analysis. And I know this is one of your favorites because it involves numbers and laboratory values. I don't know why, but most of the nursing students and some of the nurses really put this topic as hot seat. Maybe because of the numbers involved and it consists a lot of nerves to be used. When I was a nursing student, yes, I really hate this topic because I don't know when to, how to, and how to TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. There's a lot of things that they're telling that you will use the TikTok technique, you will use the roam, you will just like that. Until such time that I was just fed up and I don't know how I passed the end le exam in the philippines by that time until such time that i already have a lot of experiences in analyzing abg analysis abg analysis or the arterial blood gas is being used especially in emergency situations the doctors usually give their first orders when they check the abg results while waiting for the laboratory values of the patient but how are we going to know if that certain numerics are in the normal limits or if my patient is still stable? Watch this video until the end so that you will ace in your nursing examinations and of course you will also ace in your nursing career because I am going to talk about the steps on how are we going to pass in ABG examinations. But before that, we're going to start after the intro. First on the list is that we should know our normal values. Number one is pH. pH normal value is 7.35 to 7.45. PCO2 or our partial carbon dioxide is 35 to 45. And for the bicarb, it's 22 to 26. So that's the first step. We should know our normal values. Number two is check for acidosis or alkalosis. For the acidosis, let's check the pH. Anything that is below 7.35 is already acidotic and higher than 7.45 is alkalotic. So we identified the pH level. It's 7.35 to 7.45. Now let's see if alkalosis or acidosis. Acidosis lower than the 7.35. Alkalotic higher than 7.45. For the bicarbonate alkalosis higher than 26 acidotic lower than 22 remember that for the third one the partial carbon dioxide is anything that is lower than 35 it is alkalotic okay or alkalosis higher than 45 is acidosis now, have you met Rome? It's R-O-M-E. Rome, have you been there? I did not go to Rome yet, but I'm always meeting Rome. Rome stands for Respiratory Opposite and Metabolic Equal. So if you can see, Respiratory Opposite, we are actually referring to the PCAO2 and pH. Meanwhile, Metabolic Equal, we are referring to pH and the bicarbonate. So if you can see, if the pH and the PCO2 are opposite, that is respiratory. You got me? That is respiratory. Meanwhile, if the bicarbonate and pH are in equal, it's metabolic. Number one, know your normal values. Number two, check if it's acidosis or alkalosis. Number three, determine the acid-base balance using the Rome. And number four is remember Rome. Remember Rome. Remember Rome. Remember me. Remember Rome. Oh, remember me. <laughs> Remember, oh, remember me. Put them together, ABG analysis. <laughs> so, if the pH is down and the PCO2 is high, that is respiratory acidosis. When the pH is high and respiratory is down, that is respiratory alkalosis. The next one is if the pH and bicarbonates are low, that is metabolic acidosis. And if the pH and bicarbonate are high, that is metabolic alkalosis. 
for the next step. Do you remember tic-tac-toe, tic-tac-toe, <laughs> tic-tac-toe method? Mm, we can use that in APG analysis. How are we going to use the tic-tac-toe method? We need to draw lines, two horizontal and two vertical. In the upper left corner, we are going to tag it as acidic. And in the middle, it's normal. In the upper right corner, basic. So for example, the pH is 7.26, PCO2 of 32, and bicarb of 18. Let's identify the pH. The pH is 7.26, that means that the pH is low. It's acidic. So place the pH under acid. PCO2 is low, it's 32, so place it under basic. And for the HCO3, it's low also, it's 18, place it under acid. pH level is low, it's acidic. HCO3 level is low, it's metabolic. So we will consider this as metabolic acidosis. So that is the tic-tac-toe method. Now, the challenge in ABG analysis is to determine if it's compensated, partially compensated, or uncompensated. I believe that's the challenge of every nurse taking the examinations. Don't worry, because I'm going to share to you some tips on how are we going to identify each correct answer for ABG analysis. To determine the compensation, this is already the last part or the last step in identifying ABG. So, okay, let's start. Let's first consider pH. If pH is normal and PCO2 and HCO3 are abnormal, compensated. You got me? pH, normal. PCO2, HCO3, abnormal, compensated. Don't forget that. Next, if the pH is abnormal, PCO2 and HCO3 are both abnormal, it is partially compensated. So let's see. pH, abnormal. PCO2, abnormal. HCO3, abnormal. Three abnormals. It is partially compensated. Now for the last one. If the pH is abnormal and PCO2 or HCO3 is abnormal, it is uncompensated. So if you can see, pH abnormal. PCO2 or HCO3 abnormal. So there's or. It is uncompensated. So let's repeat. For compensated results, both PCO2 and HCO3 abnormal while the pH is normal. For the partially compensated results, all are abnormal. pH, PCO2, and HCO3 are all abnormal. And for the uncompensated results, pH is abnormal and either or. Either or, PCO2 or HCO3 is abnormal. So let's see. By applying the steps, Let's interpret the following ABG. pH is 7.44, PCO2 is 30, HCO3 is 31. So let's apply all the steps. So pH, let's consider it as normal. PCO2, let's consider it as low. HCO3, it is low. So pH, let's put it under normal. PCO2, let's put it under basic. HCO3, let's put it under acid. So since the acidity of the blood is determined by the value of pH, determine whether the normal pH is slightly acidic or slightly basic. So in this example, the pH is slightly basic because it is already near 7.45. Therefore, let's consider this as alkalosis. So the pH is already going to the basic. So we already considered it as alkalosis. Now let's proceed. In this case, PCO2 goes with pH. PCO2 is considered respiratory and both are under basic. So for this example, it implies respiratory alkalosis because the result of the PCO2 is 30. Anything that below 35 is alkalosis. Remember, the HCO3 on the other hand is abnormal. The result of the HCO3 is 21. So that is acidic. So if you can see, the pH is normal, PCO2 is under basic, and HCO3 is under acidic. Therefore, this ABG analysis is an indication of respiratory alkalosis fully compensated or compensated.
So that's how to read ABG analysis. First, let's consider the normal values. Second, we need to know if it's acidic or alkalosis. Third one, let's identify if it's metabolic or respiratory. The fourth one, let's identify the Rome. Respiratory opposite, metabolic equal. For the fifth one, we will do the tic-tac-toe. And for the sixth one, if it's fully compensated or compensated, partially compensated or uncompensated. Don't forget that in respiratory, the indicator is always PCO2 or the partial carbon dioxide. And for the metabolic, the indicator is always the HCO3 or the bicarb. We can all see these results in the blood gas analysis of the patient. And of course, to connect it with the anatomy, respiratory acidosis, there's always problem with the lungs. And for the metabolic cases, there is a problem in the kidney. So if you can see, in the ABG analysis, we can easily determine if where is the problem of the patient. Is it in the lungs or is it in the kidney? And usually, this ABG analysis is also part in the advanced cardiac life support. The doctors are actually ordering ABG analysis in order for them to know what to order. You can also encounter blood gas analysis if your patient is intubated, your patient is in DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis, or if your patient is ESRD, or if your patient is experiencing vomiting, diarrhea, and others. So that's all for ABG analysis. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it can help you in your nursing examinations. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, especially if you are new. Thank you so much guys for watching. There's nothing more that I can add in ABG analysis. See you again on my next video. Bye!